Tell me about the Littleton sightings. Well, we've had multiple sightings now of a bipedal creature in Littleton. We've heard about them about a year ago, but they were just outside the town. And that's when we went out hunting and we found uh, some prints. We got lots of more stories. But uh, as funny as it is, it's right behind the, uh, the, the uh, museum here, one block behind where we're located here. The first sighting we've gotten was right back here on Moore Street. And it was a woman who literally just looked out her back window. It was about 6 in the morning. She was talking to her mother about who was going to drop their daughter or her daughter off at a kindergarten. And she heard a crunching outside. So she looked outside, saw this large, black, very hairy creature walking through at a, a good rate of speed and uh, flipped out. So her mother knew something was wrong. She's trying to explain to her mother what she saw. So her mother ended up coming over, but told her to call me. Of course, I missed the call now at that hour. And by the time I called him back, the mother was there. So I ran over there with a the camera and stuff to document it and interview her. And basically what it was is behind the house here was heading north this way. We went back there. We could find imprints, but with all the leaf litter and it being uh, frozen out there, we didn't get anything, unfortunately, except just photos and an interview. Shortly after that, a woman up here, a friend of hers, called her and said they saw something up here, although I hadn't got a chance to interview her. And that was like the day after. Since then now, we've had another woman who's come forward, and she said about nine years ago, she lived up here and saw something in that same piece of woods that's back here heading this direction, heading south. And the, uh, the way she's explaining it sounds identical. So now we've got three sightings right in this small area here. We've had many more. And uh, this woman actually called me back a week later to tell me that she actually saw, heard a noise again, looked outside and saw eye shine. It was still dark out there. It flipped her out. Later in the day, she went out, and this is after her daughter left, and she actually found prints in the backyard that was frozen. So these didn't really come out as well as we would have liked. And the reason it's in the box is because it's so brittle because the plaster Paris didn't set. And uh, it's, so I have to keep it from breaking. The other print actually snapped in half, unfortunately. But uh, so she, we actually found prints in the backyard. So something's there. She had garbage disappear. She put a bag of garbage out on the porch before she brought it out to the uh, garbage can you know, before she was you know, set to go. And go out later and the whole uh, bag of garbage is gone. So we've had a lot of strange things. As a matter of fact, she's moving now, so she, she wants nothing to do with this, and she's even told her daughter that it didn't happen because she was so upset. So we've had, uh, and we've had a flood of more stories coming in, uh, things about the genetics lab down by uh, the Smithfield Genetics Lab down the road, all kinds of stories coming out of there. It's just uh, taking on a life of its own. So do you think there's a Bigfoot around? There's here? something around. I, the people that we're getting talking are not your typical... Uh, Bigfooters or the people that are watching Finding Bigfoot on TV or Mountain Monsters or anything like that. These people, when they explain it, they generally go where they're comfortable. Uh, two women who've talked to us have said it looked almost like a wolfman sort of creature. Another one referred to it as a monkey, like a gorilla. So they're not jumping to Bigfoot right away, but when they explain what it looked like, the coloration, the size, the way it walked, the fact it had buttocks, I mean, it just, it just seems, you know, right away, it, it sounds Bigfootish to me. It kind of fits the, uh, the mold. So... Uh, it's, you know, it's hard not to go there. I mean, I think if we had a uh, girl around here, we'd know it. <laughs>